Jerry Brown here with Jerry Brown Travels. Larry here. Hey, this video we're going to talk about medical expenses. Wow, this year we have a lot of medical expenses this year. So Jerry going to tell you about that. Yeah, so we're going to give you a review on medical expenses. Also, we're going to talk about uh, can you get Medicare down here? And also we're going to talk about how to find a reputable licensed doctor here mm -hmm. in Mexico. Can you actually use your Medicare down in Mexico? And is it possible? I have a loophole that I want to show you. And I think you'll be excited about Medicare and what you can do with it down in Mexico. Well, let's take a look at medical cost right now. A routine doctor visit, $40 to $60. Specialists, $50 to $80. Blood workup would be $60 to $100. MRI, $500 to $600. X-ray, $25 to $50. A CT scan, $500 and up. Hospitalization daily at $450 a day and up. If you need surgery, you're looking at $1,200 and up. Intensive care would be $2,000 and up. And a heart bypass would be $25,000 and up here in Mexico. With a hip replacement, $9,500 to $15,000. Now, how about a full body plastic surgery? What I mean by that, starting from the face and going all the way down to, let's say, a tummy tuck from $2,000 to $7,000, $500. Now we look at the other side, a massage one hour, $25 to $50. For a chiropractor, $15 to $50. And for a physical therapist, $25 to $40 a session. How about subscribing? We have more than 600 videos to give to you to watch it free. Now the cost that I show here are in US dollars. The prices are a range because remember, you'll be services throughout Mexico. So it varies where you're located at. But this will give you a good idea in general what medical costs are down here. A lot of people ask me about dental care. So I'm gonna show you a special clip on dental care and what the costs are down here in Mexico. Let's not forget our teeth. Teeth cleaning, $25. Whitening, $80. Fillings, $25 and up. A root canal, $200 and up. Implants, $1,100 and up. Crowns, $350 and up. Veneers, $250 per tooth. And for dentures, we'll start off at $350 and up for dentures. Let's look at the other side. A dental examination for a total checkup is going to be $50 and up. Braces will start off at $450 and up. Hey, what do you think about medical costs? And make a comment of that or make a thumb up. Well, next Friday at 5 p.m. California time, we have an exciting video for you. We're going to talk about the book that Lori wrote and uh, tell a little bit about your book. Well, this book is about my lifetime when I escaped out from Cambodia, you know, of the communist Cambodia, that it take me a lot of time to write this book. It took me like a four year, you know, to finish this book. It's just a little small book. If you want to read it, it you can order from Amazon. Yeah. Okay. So look forward to that video uh, next Friday at 5 p.m. California time. No. Medicare down in Mexico. Well, to collect Medicare down here in Mexico or use your Medicare, you know, for medical uh, procedures down here, can you use it? Well, the question is no. Medicare is only used within the United States and the territories of the United States. It's not used outside of the country. Now, if there's an emergency, you can use Medicare for emergency. But it's very important to know 
If you need to, you need to go through the emergency door in a hospital to be able to collect it because it does have to be an emergency. And a lot of times what happens is, is the hospitals will not pay for that directly to Medicare. They will bill you. So what that means, if you go into the hospital, you're gonna to have to pay a fee to be admitted into the hospital. And then when you leave, you're gonna to have to pay for services from the hospital. You will then later need to turn those into Medicare and get reimbursement from that. Well, there is a loophole. There's a loophole through Medicare Advantage. I don't know if you've ever heard of Medicare Advantage, but what it actually is, it is an insurance policy. It's sort of like travel insurance. If you get travel insurance, that'll cover you outside of the United States. So Medicare Advantage, it runs on a different principle because it's an insurance company. You're actually working with an insurance company. And so the rules are a little different. So what they've been able to do is set up outside the United States, some of the hospitals that will take Medicare Advantage. They had two hospitals here in uh, Lake Chapala, they do take Medicare Advantage. Well, how does that work? Well, the hospital will do a background check to make sure that you do have the proper uh, Medicare Advantage program. You have to have A and B, and they will do a background check. Now you're registered, so this way, if you had an emergency and you go in, you don't have to wait around for them to check out your background and everything else, because you need the emergency. So pre-registered is very important. There's no cost to do that. Now, when you use Medicare Advantage, just like Medicare, when you go to the hospital, you need to go into the emergency room. Medicare Advantage is not set up that you go in for things like, you know, a sore throat or, you know, or a virus or anything like that. It's only gonna be for an emergency situation. Now, I wanna show you two charts and it's gonna talk about the cost of uh, the way the premiums work here. And uh, let's take a look at San Antonio Hospital and the way they work their Medicare Advantage program. They advertise emergency coverage worldwide. Then they say your responsibilities are that you have to pay a copay and you have to pay your deductible that is reflected on your policy on your Medicare Advantage program. The best way I can explain what the cost is for using Medicare. As an example, my Medicare is based on that I have to pay $100 a day to go in the hospital up to five days. So that means five days I have a payment of $500. Now this I'm talking about is in the United States, okay? Plus I have a deductible of $100. So I have a total of $600 to use Medicare in the United States. Most people don't realize that they, in their program, are being charged $100 a day out of their pocket. Some programs you don't have to, but other ones, in my particular case, is that way. So if I come down here and I use San Antonio Hospital, I would have to pay that $100 a day, $500 for five days, and I'd have to pay a deductible of $100. So I'd have to pay $600. That would be the same as if I was using it inside the United States. That's the way their responsibility is. So now let's take a look at another program and uh, we'll see what it compares to. So by using San Antonio, my cost would be $600. If my bill was to go up to $3,000, I'm only gonna have to pay this $600 to meet my requirements that they call for, that I have a copay and I have a deductible. So if my bill is $3,000, I will not have to pay any more than the $600. That's the way it works at San Antonio. A lot of people think that using this Medicare Advantage or Medicare itself, they won't have to pay anything out of pocket when they're using their programs, but that's not true. 
Some of them, like this one, you do still have an out-of-pocket expense. It's not always free. But I'm going to show you another policy here. Now let's compare another service here and we'll see the comparison between the two services and what's available for you here. The next group here is Lakeside Medical Group. And look at their policy. They do have a copay, it's $175. But the deduction is zero. And so if you're staying in the hospital for seven days, you don't pay a daily rate like I have to do on my other policy of $100. But by using Lakeside Medical Care, I would not have to pay that $100 daily rate. I would only have to pay the $175 for total care. Remember, I'm being redundant, but remember, you have to go through the emergency door, and it's only for emergencies. And a friend of mine who's used their service, he had over $4,000 in medical bills, and he had the Medicare Advantage, and he paid only the $175. Now, now let's compare San Antonio Hospital Medicare Advantage plan. So for a five-day stay in the hospital at $100 a day, and a deductible of $100 would be $600 would be my total out-of-pocket expense. On the next slide here, we're looking at Lakeside Medical Group, Medicare Advantage. So big difference here. So there is a copay of $175, deductible is zero. Now staying in the hospital for five days, there is no daily rate at this program, whereas San Antonio has a daily rate. So your total bill would be $175. So this is always a big concern in coming into an area. How do you find your doctors? Uh, how do you find reputable licensed doctors here uh, that have laboratories and different facilities, let's say? Well, when we first came down here 15 years ago, typically what you did is you were word of mouth. You asked people, what doctors do you have? Do you like them? And then you go, you make an appointment, and you set up an appointment, see if you like it, and you like their services. Well, it gets a little confusing because you don't know the area, and uh, you don't know the doctors or anything like that, so you rely on other people and their experience with that. But now there's been a new group that has come in, and it is called Quality Care. And Quality Care is a great service. You go in, they represent uh, other doctors around the area that are specialists. So if you need a cardiologist, you can go there. If you need a dermatologist, if you need a dentist, and this, they have these services. So it's sort of like an HMO, where it's one place going in, and they'll book appointments for you, and it's really easy. Most of the doctors come in from Guadalajara, they come into this area, and they will then work with you by giving you a uh, consultation and then see if there's other services that you need. Alert, alert. Now this is a clarification in this video. I want you to know that the example I use with San Antonio Hospital is my particular Medicare Advantage program. Yours could be different. So it's only to give you an idea of a comparison. Also, what I want to alert you to is please verify what I say in my videos and what other people say. There's a lot of changes that go on down here, so things fluctuate. So I just want you to be clear. Okay. So Lori, what is this? What are you doing? This is Cambodia spinach. Spinach? Yeah. Oh yeah. It doesn't look like spinach. Well, it's a wine. It's a Cambodia spinach. Oh, Cambodia spinach. Okay. Yeah. Young leaf. That's a. It. It just tastes like a green. Is I just eat the young leaf like this. Okay. That's it. Mmm. Yummy. So to our audience here, Lori has her uh, organic garden here, and uh, it's her therapy, and yeah. uh, she has a beautiful job. So look, you can see that she's outside now. She's sitting down. She's been actually uh, been able to walk and stuff like that. So she's getting better and better uh, every week. 
Now, Lori also, you know, because she was raised in Cambodia, and she was a farm girl, a rice farm girl, but they went into the forest and they picked a lot of food. And so uh, if there was ever a problem on an airplane, and it has to go down, I want to be with Lori, because <laughs> I will survive and I'll be able to eat. Well, not in the United States, nothing like this growing. <laughs> Mexico, yes. Yeah. You know, it's kind of medicine too. Medicine? Mm. Okay. If you have a high fever, yeah. no doctor, you use this leaf, you pick it, and you um, squeeze it in the water, and yeah. you use the water go all over your body. Mm -hmm. Like you use the red, you know, towel, mm -hmm. put all over your your body, this is the best medicine to stop the fever. Okay, good. good. Yeah. So, uh, Lori, you know, yesterday I had a phone consultation with somebody, mm -hmm. and uh, do you remember I was telling them about, you know, how safe it was here and stuff like that? Yeah. And then <laughs> later you said, Jerry, what about our front door? <laughs> tell, them, tell them what you said. <laughs> I, I forget what I see. <laughs> so, Lori said, well, Jerry, we have a secure front door. <laughs> and uh, we also have a secure back door here. Yeah. Uh, it's got, you know, it looks like bars. It, it's secure. Uh, and also we have a, uh, a little closet. And the closet, we had a metal door uh, Oh, a door and frame all built in, right? And it has a deadbolt about this long. I mean, it goes into the wall like this. Well, and then what we did is we stained it to look like wood, but it's a safe door. And so that's where we'll put stuff in there. And so even so, we do feel it's safe down here and everything. Well, to me, I mean, I mean it's, it, it's safe, you know, it's safe. I mean, it's, when you go for walk, you go, you know, do something, you don't have to be look like, oh, the shooting gonna come out to you or something like that, or trying shooting. That's what I mean, it's safe here. So yeah. it's just sort of an extra layer of protection. You know, it's like wearing a safety belt, right? Yeah. We've, ne you know, we've been here for 15 years and we've never had a break in, but when we bought this place and stuff, and I thought, well, why not? Well, the front door, the one, it, it's artistically done. So it, it's very tasteful. In fact, I'll, I'll show you a picture of what it looks like. I'll show you a picture of what the doors and everything looks like. Just get an idea, but. Yeah, getting idea for the people who build a new house. Build a new house. Yeah. Hey, hey Lori, mm -hmm. look, why don't, we, uh, why don't we go down to the plaza tonight and just look around, maybe have a cup of coffee and just hang out there and, uh, you know, just, you know, enjoy Mexico on the plaza. So that'll give us something to do. Oh, yeah, for that? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Hey, I'd love to do that. Let's do that. Okay. Hey, and you guys, why don't you come along with us and uh, uh, see, we'll show you what the plaza looks like. That was fun, wasn't it? Every Friday at 5 p.m. California time, a new video. And if you would like to subscribe, it is free. You see my face at the bottom right? Just click on it and you'll be subscribing absolutely free. And if you'd like to book a 50-minute private phone consultation with me, the box right there on the left by Lori, just touch on it and it'll send you over to a booking site. Also, we would like to thank our patrons for all their support through these years.